Hey guys, Michelle from Delta Construction here, and today I'm showing you how I made this great Frozen inspired DIY trick or treat bag. Now, I made this for my daughter Avery, who's going to be Elsa this year because she's four, and most four year old girls I know are going to be Elsa this year. And I wanted to make her something that I had fun making, no. which I did. But also, I like these DIY canvas bags because they're much higher quality and I can use them after Halloween for whatever. So, this is a great layering vinyl tin, which is super easy with Expressions glitter heat transfer vinyl. And so I'm going to show you step by step how to get the bag just like this for under 10 bucks. Alright, thanks so much and let's get started. All right, so let's get started. First thing is I'm going to put out my canvas bag onto my towel because like I share, I like to, I don't have a special ironing space for my craft or my crafting or anything because I just use my great big craft room table. And I can pretty much promise you that I use this iron much more for crafts than I do for actually ironing. So I'm not gonna break out my bit, my ironing board for these kind of things. So I'm gonna start with my big snowflakes that I cut out and I'm gonna place them all around in a random fashion. I'm not really concerned with perfect placement. These are snowflakes after all. So, excuse <clears throat> me. I'm just gonna run over them one at a time for a few seconds and if it kind of peels up a little bit then I'm just, you just give it another once over and move on to the next one. And the easy part about this is these are small on the smaller side so the plastic curls up and makes it really easy to remove. And then I'm gonna give them all a once over just to make sure everything's adhered nicely to the canvas back before I move on to the smaller set. I grab my smaller set of snowflakes, which is about six or seven of them, and I'm going to place those all around in a random fashion, again, and just kind of anywhere. This, the vinyl and the snowflakes, it's also cute that it can't look bad, so you don't have to worry too much about where you're putting them. I use these great glitter heat transfer vinyl sheets from Expressions Vinyl and they have so many colors that it really it's just hard to narrow it down. That's why I picked a few. So I put my little snowflakes down and I'm going to do the same thing I did with the big ones. Run over them, remove the plastic. Super simple. But what's great about the Expressions Vinyl sheets is they're so affordable, which anybody who's used vinyl in any form can find that it can be an investment. But this Expressions Vinyl has great prices and I love the quality of their vinyl and it's perfect for these types of projects and it's looking great on the canvas bag and it'll stay, you'll be sturdy and you can just put it through the ringer <laughs> or for you, you know, same thing. So I'm just going to do these last couple of snowflakes, give them a once over and remove that plastic and then we are already halfway done with this bag. Can you believe that? We're a couple minutes in and this bag is halfway done. So next, after I give these all one more once over, I'm going to place the letters. And so I'm going to grab all my letters and you'll notice that mine are on a, a, a bunch of different pieces that I'm going to have to piece together and that's because I am human and I did a little mess up when I cut the first time which I'll show you in a second. And when I recut, I kind of had to position things in a way that let me get all the pieces I needed and the size I needed out of the scraps that I had. So, because you never waste vinyl. I don't care how good of a deal it is, you don't ever waste vinyl. So, I have my Let It Go in four different pieces that I'm placing all in the center of my bag. And the plastic, the clear plastic is kind of adhesive, which is nice because there it is. See, there's my mess up. I did not reverse my image. It's very important to reverse your image because when it's nice that way, it's not nice the other way, and that is not helpful. So, but I'm backing, back to placing my images. I kind of just move things around until it's the way I like it. I wanted to make sure it's all centered. And the plastic is a little bit adhesive, which is nice because it holds everything in place. And I can put it where I want it. 
And then I like to walk around and get different views. I've been doing this project upside down for this tutorial, so I kind of came on to the other side to make sure it's centered the way that I wanted it. And then I went back and I could, once it was, I was happy with it, I could start ironing. So with the bigger pieces, it takes a little bit more effort. So just be patient, iron it slowly because the more time you take and don't rush this process, the better quality your bag will end up being and it'll be much more durable. So I went over everything for the letters quite a few times, especially because we're layering the vinyl so we have to make sure it's adhering all over. And just give everything a once over. You can trace the letters, you can just iron over the top, whatever you need. So when you start peeling off the plastic, sometimes it pulls up a little bit and don't be discouraged. That happens, it happens to all of us. Just pull it off gently and you're gonna smooth it out. And then you give it another a once over with your iron and life is great. So just pull it off, smooth it down. We'll get um, the top letters and pull those off. And see, and just gently make sure it comes off easily. One more. The plastic got a little bit under my Jeep, just a smidge, and I can go over that and it'll be fine. And pull the it off. And there you go. Let it go. Alright, so now I'm going to do my last once over with my iron. Just to make sure everything is not going anywhere and it's where it needs to be. It's going to stay where it is. So give that once over and there you go frozen inspired DIY treat bag and there you go I hope you guys like this tutorial I hope you found it helpful and please subscribe and like this video and I can't wait to share the next one with you have a good night bye